We're in Adair and it's a city known for thatched roofs. It's like a little village town. But look, one of them burned down though. <laughs> They're kind of cool. That one right there burned down though. It looks like something you'd give a haircut. Like right the bottom, it looks like a, hair, like a fresh haircut. Kind of does actually. <laughs> Good comparison. <laughs> With a little more time, take back the night with the rhythm all right, take back the night with a little more time, take Okay, so I was sleeping through most of that bus ride. So I'm not sure if he, the tour guide said anything about like anything else about this. But we're at Muckross 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 House and I guess some like prestigious family, like Irish family owned it. And Queen Victoria, I guess, was gonna come stay here for one night, and like she did stay here for one night, but the whole town like prepared for her to come. Like, and it took them three years to fully prepare for her visit. Apparently they literally redid the entire inside of the house just for her and like bought new furniture and like repainted everything. And I guess they like rearranged some of the rooms so that there was a better view of the lake. I guess there's a lake somewhere. Cause we're like in the national park right now too. But they were like, Oh my gosh, like we hope she loves her stay so that when she goes home, maybe she'll like send us some money so we can like keep running this beautiful home because they like were running out of money. And then when she went home, like her husband died and obviously she like just forgot about this place, but she did say that she really liked Killarney, which is the town that this is in. It's very like peaceful here. It's just like a big park. There's a little horse-drawn carriages that you can hire over there. You know why those are there? Take you around. Because Queen Victoria said that she liked them. So they literally still have them just because of that. He said it was 12 euros a ride. But it kind of reminds me of like Versailles, just not as crowded. And it's been like foggy all day, but if you look, you can kind of see the mountains because we're literally like in the national forest right now. Yeah, it's still a little Fog's foggy been, over like, there, but. Away from us, so. He said it should be good. Even when we came in, there's like a photo of Muckross house in um, like the sun. He's like, if everyone wants to take a look here, you can see it in the daylight, but it's what I usually tell my tour and you're about to see it in the daylight, like in the sun, so. It's very peaceful. It reminds me of Downton Abbey. Like mom, if you were here, you would think this is so cool. Either mom. Yeah, honestly. I think it's because it was built in like the same time period. It's so peaceful, we went down to the lake over there. We're gonna walk over to the gardens if we have time. Look, just look at that. I don't know if we just got in free because it was a tour, but I saw no booth or anything. Like, I'm pretty sure it is just free to come in here. So there was a little cafe, and I got pink cloudy lemonade. Um, I think the bus is over there. Bought Jesse one. Thanks. Like, Jesse says it's good, though. I just really like pink lemonade. It got really warm, and I'm thirsty, so... I actually don't remember where the bus is parked. I went to a waterfall. 
It's so green and so pretty right now though. I've never seen such a green forest and I literally live in the green mountains, dude. We're in Killarney now. It is known for being the tidiest town in Ireland because I guess all the people who live here, like oftentimes they literally just come and help clean up the town and make it look nice. But, like all the buildings are so pretty and they all look freshly painted. It literally reminds me of like a mashup of Vienna and like Ireland and like this is their child. But it's also a fairly new town they were saying, like it wasn't built until the Victorian age, so. Yeah, it was like the late 1800s, 100s, early yeah. 1900s. So it's fairly new, but it's really nice. And it's yeah. like really busy here right now. Even it's, like, it's, like it's like a super cute little town though. We're about to walk down the main street that our tour guide said we should walk to. We have like two hours here. Well, we have like an hour and a half now. We got stuck in traffic on our way down. Oh, here's the church that uh, Google Trips told us to check out. It was like the only thing it told us to go to. We have yet to go inside an Irish church. I know. And I feel bad since it's like Easter weekend right now. And I'm like, we're in church. I'm a terrible Catholic. <laughs> Look, it's another one. This is like happening in all the churches we've actually seen though. They're like rebuilt on top of where churches were built once. Yep. So I guess we're just gonna explore, maybe find something to eat. So we found this restaurant, not sure what it's called, which is probably bad, but we split a pizza. We got like a hot Cajun one or something. It's good. We just finished the pizza. Jesse ate five pieces. It was good. Turns out the place was called Salvador's. Just like in Vampire Diaries. So cool. It was good. My mouth's actually a little spicy though. I didn't think it was that spicy. It like had a little bit of spice to it, but it was good. Also, everywhere in like Western Ireland has these little ice cream cones. I swear to God, I've never seen that like probably, on the east. Like, advertising it because it's it reminds me now. of like the hood ice cream. Yeah, it's warmer now, so they're like, come buy ice cream. Murphy's ice cream, which is made in Ireland, and it's like, I've heard it's really good, but we got a free sample of dreamy, creamy caramel, so we tried it, and it literally looks so like, so good. it has like caramel whipped cream on it too. Yeah. If you come to Ireland, go to Murphy's. I haven't oh seen God. one in Dublin, but there's gotta be one in Dublin, I feel it like. It so good. It tastes like Starbucks caramel. Like that's the best caramel you can get is Starbucks caramel. This is what it tastes like. Oh wait, we gotta walk back. So it's made in Dingle. Just found that out. 
This is like hands down. It's so fluffy. It's one of the best ice cream ever. Oh my gosh, she's like doing the Irish jig. What's that dance called? We literally learned about it. It's not the Irish jig. Hornpipe. Horn. Hornpipe. Hornpipe, yeah. Hornpipe. Okay, so that was the best ice cream I've ever had. Yeah. Sorry, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> it was just was so light and fluffy. There were like little pieces of like hard, hard caramel. caramel. Yeah, those were but good. Then it wasn't like you bite it and it just like crunches. Like you bite it and it like melted. Also, these like buildings are so quintessentially Ireland. Like you get these in Dublin, but since it's a city, it doesn't feel it doesn't have the same feeling as yeah. like Killarney does. Long story short, I really like it here. I do too. Like this is probably my favorite town I visited. Period or in Ireland? In Ireland. Vienna is like really placed a stake in my heart. When I said all the buildings here were really nice, like this is what I meant. Meant. This is what I meant. Like it's literally a hotel and it looks like this. And this is like another restaurant. And it all just looks like it was just painted. Killarney. I really like Killarney. Like, I want to come back here. That's how nice it is. And I'm sad we only have a month left and we're like finally visiting Killarney. And like we're doing it on a like tour, so we're only here for like two hours, hour and a half. But it's so cool. Like I feel like this is the kind of place my family would love. Like my mom would probably love it here. It's like in, it's like not touristy, but it's like very Irish and there's like so much to do. And there's a whole bunch of outdoor stuff. So I feel like Thomas, my dad and Aaron would love it too. And there's like the Muckross house, just like an old mansion and like parks and gardens everywhere and they're, they're like in a national forest. Like this is, I've, we've seen cool things in Ireland, but for some reason I'm like, I like this most. Taken aback by this one? The Giant's Causeway was very cool. Cliffs and Wall were cool. Oh wait, the caves, those were cool though too, Northern Ireland. So one of the best things in the Republic of Ireland? One of the best things in the Republic. So now we're just waiting. Our bus leaves uh, like 15 minutes to go to the next thing. But I like that we got more time here. Like most of the time when we stop on tours, they'll be like, okay, you have like 45 minutes to go get food mm. or to walk around the town or to go get food and walk around the town. And you're like, okay, well that's obviously not enough time to do either of those. We were also told we are on the longest like day trip offered in all of Ireland right now. Yeah. It started at 6.20 and we don't get back till 8.30. Or 9. 8.39, yeah. So, it's nice that you get a little more time at everything, which is nice. Yeah. But like, it also is because this is like the farthest away. Like it took like two or three hours. We didn't actually like really stop at the first thing until like 11.30 and we left at 6.20, so. But now, we're going to the coast, I think, is all of our next stops. Is all like at the water, like the cliffs along the, the western coast. So excited for that because the water on this side of Ireland is so much bluer than it is. I feel like it's kind of grayish in Dublin. Well, we also haven't gone to the coast. Of Dublin. We just always go. We see the Liffey anytime we go downtown. Yeah, we haven't seen any other water besides the Liffey. We're gonna go to Hoth on Sunday though. Monday. That'll be our Monday. Tomorrow Sunday. Going to a concert tomorrow. Maybe we'll vlog a little bit of that. But yeah, Monday we're going to Hoth, and that'll be our first time actually seeing the water, like near Dublin. Okay, we were just in the store, and I just saw this, but it's literally signed by the actor who plays Voldemort, and that's cool. So here you go. Oh my God! Wait, the guy who plays Dumbledore, and then all three main characters. It's all signed. What? They had butterbeer in there. It was customized to what your house is. <laughs> Go get some. I can't afford that. How much is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Radical view. Oh, like it's like of the national park. So literally, right in front of us, you can kind of see the mountains, but it's a little foggy. A whole bunch of lakes. A whole bunch of lakes. There's one lake. You know what I mean? It's pretty. We were there catching fire, now you're here burning bright in the flames. All this time could have sworn you were mine, now I hide in the rain. A vibrant worker's life is what you make of- 
We're at Ange Beach. In the, uh, we're on the Wild Atlantic Way? I don't know why I don't like We're on the Dingle Peninsula, dude. Yeah, but isn't this in the wild? It's part of it, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so cold. But look, it's so pretty. I'm also an ice cube now. Just a mystery to change. 